Bad at First Sight Season 12 re Reunion Part 2. I thought we was done with Chris. Why is Chris still on my TV channel? Girl, I just can't. I'm just so tired of Married at First Sight, girl. Welcome back to Church Girls and Faith Girls Want to Get Married to. My name is Jess. Thank you for your love and support of my books. You know I can't watch two hours because I'm back in the office a few more days of the week now. I want to thank you for your love with my new book, 10 Years a Girlfriend. Be sure to check this out. A lot of you are getting free copies. If you did the special in December, buy two, get one free. I've mailed out about a hundred some books in the last three days. So you should be getting your book shortly. A lot of you have already gotten the books. I need you to run over to Amazon, pick up another book, give that to somebody and leave a review for me. I love you. Thank you for your love and support. Oh my God, are we still talking about Chris? Look at Paige Luke and all scared. He said, come to the mother effing parking lot right now. They're trying to get him. Chris, come back here, come back and talk. He was like, don't talk to me, bro. He's really not happy. Sound like um, Paige talking about Chris like he's my two year. Look at Paige behind child. Oh, she went and got in the car. Why Paige? Paige, why, Paige? I just, this girl is getting on my last nerve. He keep talking down at me. When I say it's going to blow, it's going to blow up. And why they have the same pseudo? Oh, here he comes back. Lord, I just cannot, y'all. Get this little toddler off my TV station, y'all. After talking with the producers, Chris agreed to return. As long as Pastor Dwight was not involved. I've heard that Chris is willing to rejoin us now. So let's welcome once again. Chris is coming back. I can't. As long as Pastor Dwight is not involved. Ooh. Are you okay? I'm, I'm not okay. Chris, so, ha, are you okay? I'm not okay. I would be okay for Kate Page's sake. See, he, it's always about somebody. What about you? Paige, how do you feel about it? She's a little shaky because this is a lot. And I'm, sorry that you had to see that part. I'm sorry that you had to see that part. But that, that's who you are uh, when you, when they apply pressure. Pressure is, who, is that's who you are, Christopher. He has an underlining condescending tone. Please, boy, you just don't like to be corrected. I've been corrected a million times. Lies. This is why you are how you are. You was never corrected. She don't. He don't have nothing else to say to him. Just remember this. Never let somebody make you lose it like that. He was able to lose it because that's who Chris is. Okay. You want to know how a, how a person is? Turn the pressure up a little while and how they react. That's okay. This is why my daddy said, make sure you see a man angry before you marry him because that's going to tell you how he's going to react. Is he going to slap you, push you, shove you? Leave you on the, the, the New Jersey turnpike, the 10 mile highway over the bridge where you can't even walk over on the other side and get to a safety. No, the cops had to come pick you up. See a man angry before you marry him. And remember this lady's pressure. Who are you under pressure? Who are you with it when you get money? This is why a lot of people who win the lottery in seven years, they're broke because they're not used to money. And so they don't know what to do with money. So they get a little bit of money. And in, 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 in seven years, five to seven years, how do you how do you spend millions of dollars? Because they're, you know, I can't say the word and they're not used to it. Okay, money maximizes who you really are. Pressure maximizes who you really are. And this is who Chris is. And they, the producers, they did it to get for the ratings. I don't care what they say. And he's apologizing. He's a lie. I can't even go on no further. I'm tired already. Oh, I really do hope you work things out. Oh, he got up to uh, walk and leave Paige. Then he turned around and give her a hug. Paige, how are you? I'll be honest with you. I'm sad I wasn't there. I feel like I couldn't at least just. Paige, how are you? She, he's Kevin is sad he wasn't there. Paige, you know that's all that man act. And you still yet trying to hold on to him. I, I honestly thought they'd get up, hug it out, and be nice. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. I want to get another viewpoint from someone who knows the real page so let's bring out your good friend nancy and uh she was a bridesmaid oh let's 
bring your good friend out, Nancy. Oh, child, I love Nancy's dress. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. But Nancy looked like she done lost a lot of weight. But whoever did Paige's makeup is the same person that did Nancy's makeup, and they both don't look the makeup. They make them look like they, you know, going to meet their their maker. Paige is different from the other type of woman I'm used to. Opposite of Paige. I don't think she's a trophy. Why they're doing the flashbacks? She's probably the woman that I need, not the woman I wanted. Oh, the friends say after he said that, you still want to give him the benefit of a doubt. Girl, stop. Oh, she can't make him her see what he's saying. Yeah, I mean, as a friend, like, I think she did what any friend would do. I would have probably candled myself the exact same way. I would never, ever, this is my day to take that away from someone. I think that... I don't mean to cut you off, sis, but what I will say is that had I knew the overall trauma that you would experience, had I been my time... I would have never done that. So she's so another friend is saying, if I had known the overall trauma, you don't know. You don't know. But based on what the man said, she's not a trophy wife. She's not attractive. She's not the typical girl I would date. You already knew if a man said that, right? So I, I, I don't know. Because that's just not usually how I am. So shout out to all the friends and family and, you know, the Lord for working on me in that moment. Because ah, shout out to all the friends and family of the Lord for working on me on that moment. I think that I was very graceful, and it, it probably rubbed off on me from Paige. Oh, she was graceful. It probably rubbed off on her from Paige. She said, I don't know how Paige do it, because Paige is desperate for a man. Right. He came in. He was very buttoned up. He apologized. That's why I said, man, do I have to apologize? I'm going to have to issue an apology to Chris, girl, until they turn the heat up. And he said he was growing. Do you accept that apology? And do you think it's genuine? No. Kiss Willie the second. I do not accept your apology. There is not enough apologizing in the world that man could do to make me feel. I don't even know how I could feel towards him. There is, the, just write Chris off. Is that Chris? I will say that Chris is the ep epic of black men. Lies, you a lie. You are a whole lie. You are a whole lie. You are a whole lie. I'm gonna have to come back and do a video on this. Stop it. Wait a minute. Let me. Chris. Okay. Why black mental health matter? Okay. I thought she said black mentality. Black mentality. Woo! Kevin asked the question, where are Paige's people? Oh, she said Paige people's not there because we're not like Paige. We're not as graceful and poised. Full of forgiveness and understanding. She's showing it today. Beautiful grace and restraint. Look, it's sitting there looking beautiful, but when the, she was on that phone with that producer, she was going in. Ah, he said, I thought you would try to choke him out. So she said, Paige, don't carry her stuff like that. She don't want to carry her stuff. Well, thank you for not going on TV and act crazy because you know how the black folks be acting on the TV. Dark alley, I can't say that I ah, she said, if I see by the streets or a dark alley, I can't sound controlled by myself. She funny. Myself, that's funny. <laughs> okay, last thing. Is Paige okay? Um, no, my friend is not okay. Is Paige okay? No, she's not okay. She's going to healing of journey of healing. No, it is not his responsibility, girl. I got to come back and talk about it. I know the man that comes into his life is going to help her to unpack. No, no, no. That is not his job. I'm going to come back and talk about this, y'all. Go to counseling. Your husband is not supposed to be your healer. 
Okay, he's not supposed to fix your be the doctor and heal your broken heart and all your problems. Go see a counselor and get your problems healed. Okay, call me. You know, sign up for my mentor. Anyway. But at the same time, I think she's emerging stronger. This is gonna be her blessing in disguise, and though she didn't come out with this, this is gonna be her blessing in disguise. Love story that she envisioned. She'll get so much more and it'll open up a conversation. It will open up a girl, you're talking too much. I'm tired already. It was at in Nancy, thank you for coming by and talking about this relationship. And I'm glad to know you were back there ready to catch him in the alley. Okay. <laughs> I can't even say I'm glad you know you was back there to catch him in the alley. Hey, thank you for going on this journey. It was hard to watch. Stop it. Stop it. You act, you know, Paige act like the typical black woman act in the black community. Stick it through. Work it through. Try to stay with him. The lies, honey. This is why black women are where we are when it comes to these men. Okay. Y'all put up with everything. You deal with everything. You accept everything. You just, he don't, a girl, I just cannot, I can't, couldn't be me. I'm just letting you know it's going to be me. Okay. That's all I'm going to do. I'm already tired. My mind is already tired and I need to go and get my life because these people is getting on my nerves. Okay. I thought the whole Paige and Chris situation was done. I was ready for Jake. I wanted to see Jake and Haley and then they gave me this. So I'll come back and do Jake and Haley later. I love you. I have to run. Remember, 10 Years a Girlfriend is available on Amazon. Um, 23 Tasks of Guys is also available. It's going off sale this week. So if you want to get it, please get it this week. Moments of Gratitude, the journal. Moments of Gratitude, the book. In Christ, I am. Um, the Naked Wife and In Christ, I am. I love you. I have to run. Show me love. If you got the free book, it's in the mail. You should be getting it anytime soon. Bye. Love you. Bye.